It's Good Morning Black People with your host, Morgan Reese, author, podcast, online personality. Good Morning Black People discussing social views, today's news, and interviews. Subscribe today at YouTube at Good Morning Black People. Good evening, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, uh, wherever you're at. Um, you're watching this live. Watching this, live. this is Good Morning Black People, Morgan Reese, and I'm your host. I'd like to say again, and I'm glad I'm with me and watching this uh, streaming service tonight. I would like to introduce our phenomenal and amazing Sandra Wilson. She is the founder of Black Connections. Sandra is a single mother of mother of four children who witnessed her community being gunned down in the streets by the police. She knew she wanted to do something in her for her community, so she started protesting on social media through her black through my pro through her pro black Instagram page. And a gentleman by the name of Mr. Dale Dowdy, CEO of Black Facts, reached out to her and said he loved her passion for her community and wanted to work on her social media pages. So now. I have further ado, no further ado. I'm not going to talk anymore. I want to welcome Sandra Wilson. Come on, Sandra. How are you doing this evening and morning, afternoon? <laughs> Can't hear you. Got to unmute. Okay. Is that, can you hear me now? <laughs> yes. Perfect. I'm doing well. How are you? I am great. I'm so grateful and thankful that you decided to uh, do on the show this evening. Um, I'm actually from Newport News, um, Virginia. So, I mean, I live in the 804, but I'm actually from the 757. <laughs> so, okay, okay, I, okay. Um, I live up here in the uh, RVA area. And, um, yeah, that's kind of where I'm, where I'm at. Black Connections is global. I just I just live in the RVA area. Um, and, and I didn't hear the rest of the question. I know you asked me where I was from, and then I didn't catch the rest. I'm sorry. Um, can you tell us more about your, your, your program? Oh, yes, ma'am. So um, August 2016? Um, I happened to be watching the football game when Kaepernick decided he was going to sit. And um, I looked at him and I was like, he looks like my oldest son, Afro and all. And I was like, mm -hmm. okay, so you get ready to throw away your whole NFL career for something that you believe in. I said, all right, I'm with it. So I started a pro-black Instagram page. And when I say I was going after everybody, all the police you know, anybody that was doing anything wrong to us, I, I was blasting them. And then I started promoting black owned businesses because I was like, OK, well, I can talk about them, you know, and, and put all the information out there. I was like, but I want to do something different. So then I started really I was still doing my advocating, you know, and protesting and all of that. But I incorporated black owned businesses and recycling black dollars into it as well. And Mr. Dale, who you just spoke of, happened to see me and he was like, you're passionate and I love it. And he said, I want to offer you a job. And I'm like, doing what? <laughs> you know, and he's like, we're running my social media pages. I took over um, his his uh, social media pages, his Instagram account. He had 529 followers, something like that. And this was February 2018. And today, well, I don't know how many he's got today, but when I stopped doing his social media, he was up to 85,000. Wow. So I was growing Black Connections and I was growing, you know, his pages together. The, you know, and the only thing he said was, "You cannot use that that four letter F word." He said, "You got to got to tone that down," you know. And I was like, "Oh, I got you." I said, "You know, I I there's a time and a place for everything," you know. So I said, I, "I'm good with that." And so that's how Black Connections started. Um, I I set up Black Connections June 2018. I mean, he told me, he was like, people will listen. And I'm thinking to myself, ain't nobody going to listen to me, <laughs> you know? And 
here we are 104,000 followers later and uh, 40,000 on Instagram and Snapchat, not Snapchat, I'm banned from Snapchat, but <laughs> um, TikTok's growing and the LinkedIn is growing. And so it's just it's just been a roller coaster ride, you know, up uphill every since. And it's super, super cool because I've seen so many businesses that started in their kitchen or they started in their garage and now they got brick and mortars, you know. So I'm just thankful that I'm just able to connect, you know, the black community with resources and businesses that they need. So that's that's kind of how black connections started. That's so amazing. Really, 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 really. Um, that's a, I know in our black communities, a lot of things, a lot of issues that are going on. And you are free, and it's safe. Enhanced. Um, you say it's all over. Our view, you guys go to things with the music. Like we know we had her, we're doing COVID, and we had other issues in the community. And I caught some of that. Um, I'm thinking you were asking, do we do different things? Oh no, she's muted. I don't hear her anymore. I see her beautiful smile, <laughs> but I can't hear her anymore. Can you hear me? Yes, now I can hear you. Girl, all I can see was that beautiful smile. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. I was asking you, uh, do you go to other cities in the country? Oh, yes, ma'am. So um, I've done my Black Business Expos here in here in Richmond. I've I've had two of them. Um, and we're actually going to start branching out into other states at this point. Um, we're looking at Cali and Vegas, um, D.C. and Waldorf, Maryland areas. As of as of right now, we're kind of playing around with them to to take the expo to other states. Um, I have gone to other states and I've done meet and greets and interviewed you know black owned businesses we did we did it in waldorf maryland we um i've done it in dc and when i went to vegas for my daughter's birthday we did it out there as well um and so black connections is global so with that i do virtual expos uh because of the pandemic we weren't really able you know to get out there and go to different businesses and things like that. So then what happened was I started these virtual expos um, and I have one for nonprofits, black owned businesses. Um, and we do that one the third Saturday of every month. We just did one um, last Saturday. It was so much fun. And then the fourth Saturday of each month, we dedicate that to the black authors. So we're doing virtual stuff. And then I'm also looking into another face-to-face -face, um expo but it, it won't be in richmond it's gonna you know we're gonna go to another state um and do it so i'm super super stoked about that um but yeah so we we do i do go to different places i've went to um like i'm from the 757 so every time i go home i always make a point to stop by a business you know um buy their food or their smoothie, whatever they got going on. We take pictures. If they've got a minute, you know, to do a quick live, we'll jump on live real quick and they get to, you know, they'll get to promote their business and things like that. So yeah, we do. I do go elsewhere. So yeah, I'm not just in Richmond. Okay. okay. Well, like busy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I Very just busy. Just back into the swing of things. Okay. Okay. So, do you have any in the future? Any future projects that are coming out? Um, working on it? Yes, ma'am. Um, we just started the expos. Um, so that's that's going to be the third. We'll have an expo the third Saturday, the fourth Saturday. Um, we have our mental health Mondays, which are extremely important to me because mental health in the Black community is something that 
as children, a lot of mental health things were swept under the rug. We were told what happens in this house stays in this house. You know, if something happened to a child or whatever, it was swept under the rug. Nothing was said and we kept it pushing. I want to change that. Um, so I started the Mental Health Mondays because there's stuff we need to we need to unpack. And our community as a whole is struggling with mental health issues. This didn't just happen. This has been going on for decades. And unfortunately, we were taught in our community, you know, don't cry, suck it up, deal with it. You know, don't go to a doctor. And that needs to change because our community is in pain. Um, so Mental Health Mondays are not just for our community, but they're also for me as well, you know, because what I do for a living is not easy. And this is Black Connections is my full time job. I mean, I'm a therapist in these DMs and I don't have, you know, that therapy background. But when a small business is struggling and they need to vent, I'm going to let them vent. So that's another reason I started small, uh, not small business, but um, Mental Health Monday. And then Talk About It Tuesday is for anybody that's got something that they want to talk about. You know, maybe we've got some resources out there. And that's really why I started to talk about it Tuesdays, because I want people to come on and talk. You know, I, I'm giving them a platform. I don't want people to be scared to talk. And I put myself out there also. So if it's, you know, if it's a mental health Monday and, you know, people are, somebody's on there and, and they've got something they want to talk about, but they're kind of struggling a little bit to get it out, then I'll go ahead and throw myself out there and, and my story, you know, of what my biological father did to me as a child. I throw it out there so that way they know they're not alone. You know, I can't ask somebody to do something on a live or an expo or anything if I'm not willing to do it myself. So when I talk to people and, and, and I tell them, come on, let's talk about these mental health Mondays. I put myself out there as well. Same thing with the talk about it Tuesdays. Um, so at the end of the day, it's all about connecting our community by any means necessary. And I do mean by any means necessary. So if it means we have to have Mental Health Mondays and talk about it Tuesdays and um, work out Wednesdays and and history on Thursdays and, you know, talking about food on Fridays, you know, that's what we're going to do, you know, and Sunday is my day off. You know, my, now it is. It didn't used to be. I, I work seven days a week. But and that's another thing. Another reason I, I like the Mental Health Mondays, because so many of us don't take a break. We're too busy out here grinding so we don't have to work for somebody else. So we're able to work for ourselves and we don't take time for us. Hence why I've been out of work for eight months, because I didn't listen to my body and, and it messed me up. So I've been out of work for eight months and I'm just you know, getting back into the swing of things. I mean, I did a little bit uh, past, you know, the past eight months, but I just wasn't able to. I was sick. So um, I'm just slowly getting back into the swing of things. And my doctor is the one who said, take it slow, no Sundays. And then all the things I rattled off were things I wanted to do throughout the week. He said, pick two. <laughs> That's what you get. So Mental Health Mondays and Talk About Tuesdays are the two that I went with. So, Wow. So, my yeah, school my school day day on the show is all about me. And looks like 2023 is all about you. And you are hitting the ground running, which is a lot for um, a single mother as yourself. And as you don't realize, sometimes our bodies give us signals to say we need to shut down and we don't listen. And if your doctor was telling you that, like, hey, you got to slow it down, you're doing too much because your body can take for so much, but for so long. And sometimes, especially in the black community, we're so busy trying to achieve, obtain and um, move forward and grow because of who we are and our culture. We just keep going, 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 going. And the next thing you know, your body says, well, you don't want to shut down. I'll shut down for you. <laughs> so your doctor is telling you that and you're listening, which is actually, again, a lot of people in the black community don't listen, especially when it comes to our health. They're like, oh, they don't know what they're talking about. 
They don't live in my house, so they don't have people I have to deal with. So that's a lot. That's a lot. Um, I am really, really proud of you, Sandra. Wow. Really, really, really proud of you. Oh, gosh. You have a lot going on. <laughs> you have a whole lot going on. Um, so is there anything else that you would like to share with the, share with um, our streamers? Anyone that's watching, anything that's positive, any, any type of trinkets that you want to share? Because again, 2020-23 is all about who? Black Connections. And, and who's the founder? Oh, Sandra, I'm sorry. Girl, I don't even, I don't even pay me any mind, you know, because I'm always, it's, it's all about the Black-owned businesses, you know? Mm -hmm. And I just want the black owned businesses to keep pushing forward. Um, I don't want you to focus on your numbers um, on, and I don't want you to focus on the, the algorithms. Our community right now is too focused on numbers. You know, I've got to have a million numbers on TikTok. I've got to have a million numbers on Facebook and Instagram. You guys are losing sight of why you started your business journey. Do not do what everybody else is doing. If everybody's out here doing this follow for follow and people are spending all day dropping their business information under these follow for follows. You're doing exactly what the platform wants you to do. And that is focus on their platform and not focus on your business. So if you're spending all your time doing the follow for follows, how many invoices are you getting? At the end of the day, you started a business, one, because it was your passion, two, because you want to stop that nine to five. You want to stop working for somebody else and you want to work for yourself. You're not going to be able to do that if you're focusing on the algorithm. Stop focusing on the algorithm. The algorithm is not for us, folks. It's not. I'm just going to keep it real. I've been doing this for many years and I've done a lot of research. And I actually have a, a block on my account because I'm pro-black. You know, I can't use black hashtags. That's another thing. Don't use black hashtags because they will shadow ban you. I've got so many businesses coming to me telling me, I don't know what happened. I was doing so good and all of my stuff was moving. And then one day it just stopped. And I'm like, what hashtags are you using? Well, I just started using um, hashtags with, you know, black business. That I said, Stop using them. Go back to what you were doing when you weren't using the black hashtags. And she came back and she was like, my numbers went back up. Yeah, because you're not focused on the black hashtags that they are watching. And they've been watching these black hashtags for a minute. A lot of businesses have had to stop using them because of the shadow banning. So if I can tell everybody just, you know, those those nuggets, just stay focused, stay focused. Do not get involved with these stupid challenges, you know, on TikTok and all that kind of stuff. You don't need that. Your focus is your business. Don't lose sight of that because I've seen too many businesses that have actually closed because they were so focused on the numbers. They were so focused on doing these challenges to get numbers. You know, if you're consistent, that's all that you need is consistency. If you set a schedule and you show up every single time, then everybody else is going to show up. So just Remember why you started and remember what your end game is. And for God's sakes, keep your personal page and your business page separate. I'm telling you, I don't have a personal page. You know, I mean, I have one on Facebook solely because of the business. And I had to start my my business page. But my in, well, my pro black Instagram page has been shut down so many times I quit using it. But when I go to a business page. I want to see your business. I want to see what you're offering. I don't want to go on there and see you in the club dropping it like it's hot. That ain't got nothing to do with your business. Put that on your personal page. I don't want to see you and your husband beefing going back and forth on your business page. Come on now. We got to think smarter, y'all. <laughs> you got to 
The business page is business. You got to keep it business. That personal stuff, please keep that on your personal page. But those are my nuggets. You know, the, Girl, the, you the, I'm <laughs> awful. <laughs> I can do the same thing when I'm on personal pages and they're promoting both at the same time. And I was like, okay, I don't know what's going on. Right. Even when I went, I was like, oh, this makes it so difficult. But um, wow. Whew, you said a mouthful, Sandra. Sandra. <laughs> you probably about to get some comments in your DMs like, what's she talking about? She, she ain't got that many faith and that many followers anyway, so she don't know. But you're right about that. It's really not about the numbers, it's about the content and what you put out. If you're promoting your business. Um, or if you're trying to get people to come to your page to see what you're about, as long as it's positive, as long as it's good, um, leave the negativity on your, your other page. Or matter of fact, just don't bring it on, on in general, because I always say they, I can't hear you. Negativity. No need for the negativity. And black connectors, everything is positive. All of that love and hip hop and all this drama and crap on TV, none of that goes on my page. Everything is positive. The only negative thing that pops up on my page is when I have to share a missing person. That's literally the only negative thing that, that's, that's on my page. Everything is positive, uplifting, and it's all about us supporting us, you know, and I just don't have time to be negative. I'm too busy trying to be positive, you know, and I want our community to to be positive and to collaborate and come together and work together and, you know, just do great things together because the crabs in the barrel mentality, we got a lot of that and that needs to stop, you know, so we have a lot of growing to do and I love black connections because we're one big happy family. And that's, you know, that's what we do when, when I have my face-to-face -face expos, they're like a family reunion because everybody comes together. My last expo, I had 19 different States in the building and it was a major just family reunion because we had been, COVID kept pushing it back, pushing it back and pushing it back. So finally we did it Juneteenth of 2021 and it was a big old family reunion. Everybody was, we had been talking for so long online and then we finally all got to see each other and it was just great, you know, and that's what I want. I want our community to just come together. We're not always going to agree on everything and we don't have to. That's what makes us different and unique. You know, because we don't have to agree with everything, but we can work together. You know, there's there's enough room at the table for everybody to eat. So pull up a chair, you know, and let's let's eat. You know, so. I'm right there with you, girlfriend. I'm right there with you, Diva. I promise you, I say that all the time. I'm like, I, you have your thing and I have my thing. I don't want what you have because you and I are not on the same on the same place and they're not in the same path. You're unique to do your what your goals and dreams are. I'm unique to be my for my goals and my dreams. So each individual have the same thing. And I promise you the table, just like you said, the table is big enough for everybody to join. And everybody have their own success and their own growth and their own whatever they have. And when you're too busy focus on someone else, you're never going to continue to focus on yourself because while you're watching other people, that person is thriving and you're sitting there too busy watching them and pointing the finger. Oh, look at them. Look at, oh, they acted this and they acted that. It's not even about that. It's about we all can grow. You have your own thing. And you said it a mouthful, Sandra. I promise you, you said a mouthful. I've been thinking of saying this for a long, long time. And I, that's why I love this show. Keep it real. Um, no fluff. You're definitely going to be positive at all times. Share positive information. But at the same time, keep it real because it's not just for us. It's for everyone. And that's like I said, this show is not just for black people. It's for all cultures. Um, there are people who are maybe the Latino community, the Mexican community, any community who feels like, well, I have a voice, but some people don't want to listen to me or some people don't want to hear what I got to say because now they're going to shut me down. Like you said, you've been banned from social media for a couple of your pages a couple of times. <laughs> they say, here she comes, here she comes again. But guess what? It didn't stop you from sneak peeking. It didn't stop you from talking. It didn't shut you down. So that's a positive and a plus. So I would like to ask you, if you don't mind, can you please share 
um, how anyone can get in contact with you, where they can follow you at, um, your social media platforms, anything that you got going on, how they can they can track you down and stay a part of your movement. Because again, uh, our black community gets so many things against us simply for the color of our skin. They forget to look at our our intelligence and how we got to where we at. You know, we didn't get here just because of the color of our skin. You didn't hire us because of the color of our skin. You hired us because of our brain. And for what we, we brought to the community, what we brought to that, that company or whatever you, have, you include as a part of. So that brain is going to carry us even when you don't longer, no longer want us and we decide to go somewhere else. So can you please share with everyone where um, how can they catch up with you and, and find you and follow you on your social media platforms and in your website? Okay, there it goes. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. But um, yes, ma'am, everything is Black Connections across the board. Um, our website is blackconnectionsllc.com. Um, Instagram, Black Connections. Facebook, Black Connections. Uh, LinkedIn, it's Black. Dot, not LinkedIn, Black Connections on LinkedIn, but TikTok, it's Black. Dot connections. Um, and Twitter, it's um black connections also and um we have a facebook group if you are a black ceo and you would like to join us we are networking with black ceos we are almost to a thousand black ceos now it's absolutely amazing everybody's in there networking and talking and um collaborating it's absolutely amazing i love it um if you would like to get our magazine, um, we have a magazine. <laughs> it's funny. We have a magazine. It's it's still weird to me. But um, February of last year, we dropped our uh, first magazine and we made it about returning citizens. So um, if you have anybody that's incarcerated, you could purchase that magazine from Amazon and send it directly into the prison. Um, it has 30 convicted felons in there that did major time, but they've all came out there. They have a second chance. They're authors. They have nonprofits and they're all business owners. Everybody, all 30 of them are business owners. So, um, that we have we have that and it was ex i still can't believe it but i sent the magazine to the library of congress in dc and they accepted it so we're in the library of congress which is absolutely amazing a pro -black <laughs> wow so that was super super cool but um yeah that's how that's how you can find us and um Oh, we have a, uh, a black business directory. So if you're a black owned business, please add your business to the directory. It's free. You know, it's free. If you're a black owned business, you can mail me your products. I do a free unboxing video for you. I share it across all of our social media pages. And then on Fridays or either at one of our expos, we raffle off your product. Word of mouth is your best business. So if you send in your product, and say, you know, somebody wins it and they get it. If they like it, what are they going to do? They're going to tell all their coworkers, all their family. So it's free advertising for you. And you are free to, to take the video and use it as a promotion and all that good stuff. So I have about 20 unboxing videos I have to do now um, where people have sent in their products. And if you're a service, don't worry about it. Send a, send a gift certificate. You can email me a gift certificate or a, um, a, um, like a promo code or something like that for a service. And, and I just give them that. And, you know, services are allowed. So we don't discriminate. You know, I support all black owned businesses. You know, it's all about changing the narrative, you know, in our community. And I'm, and I'm all about that by any means necessary. This is, this is not, Black Connections is not a, um, a movement, so to speak. This is a lifestyle change. You know, you have to change your lifestyle. You have to support more Black-owned businesses. Yeah, there's, we don't, we're not Black. Um, we're, 
everything yet, but there is a good portion of what we use every day that you can buy black owned. And I don't want to hear, oh my God, they're so expensive. Yeah, they're a little more pricier. Why? Because they can't get the capital and the loans and things that other businesses can. They, they're not, we're not able to mass produce stuff like we need to yet. So yeah, things are going to be a little pricier, pricier, but do you know how you cut that down? Support the black owned businesses. So as they're making money and, and they get bigger, then they're able, you know, to not charge quite as much because they have, they have their products on an assembly line somewhere. You know, and it's they're not doing it in their garage or their kitchen, you know, so just support black owned businesses. I, I can't say that enough. You know, there's we have some um, we're, we're talented people. We are very talented people. Um, And I just want everybody to see their potential. You know, I know there's a lot of businesses that are like, I don't know if I can do this. You can. I don't you know, I'm struggling. It's OK. You know, it happens. Um, but believe in yourself. And be if you're if you're feeling down or you feel like, you know, I just want to close my doors, slide in my DM. And I promise you, you won't close your doors. Because I'm going to give you a pep talk <laughs> that is going to stop you from from all that negative talk, because we need your business in our community. We need podcasts like this in our community, you know, so never think that you're alone. Please never think that you're alone. Um, if you join the Black Connections family, you will understand what I mean about that. We are a family. We look after each other. Our, what did our ancestors say in the, in the, back in the day? It takes a village to raise a child. Black Connections is your village. Your business is your child. So don't ever give up. Never. I don't care how hard it gets. Never, ever, ever give up. Because when you show up, you are showing people how to survive. Period. Point blank. You know, so show up. And show out always, always, you know, um, but just know you're not alone. There are a bunch of other black owned businesses out here that are struggling just like you and that just need a little bit of support. And remember this, don't if your family's not supporting you, it's OK. If your co-workers are not supporting you, it's OK. If your um, significant others not supporting you, it's okay. Because at the end of the day, your biggest supporters are going to be total strangers. Never forget that. Wow. So, you said about yeah. me, Sandra. Um, I am so honored and so grateful and blessed that you took the time to join me and come on my, on my show to share these trinkets um, amongst our Black community. Um, you, I literally, I promise you, you, you judge me as well because I, I, I've been there, done that, especially because I'm new into this whole world of different of a different uh, platform. So I really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to come and join my show. And I, you're such a beautiful young lady. And again, 2023 is all about me. 2023 is all about you and Black Connections. You hear me, guys? 2023 is all about Black Connections and promoting Black uh, businesses, own businesses, and anything that, that they're doing, we all have to support each other. As she said, it takes a village, guys, and it does. It's not about stepping on anyone's toes or trying to be better than anyone. It's all about promoting, enhancing, and, and sharing positive vibes and giving positive energy. There's enough negativity going on in the world. We don't need to do that amongst each other because it's all about growth. Well, Sandra, thank you again for joining my show. We came to the end. It came some time went so fast, but you were super duper awesome, girlfriend. You were super duper awesome. And I definitely look forward to for you coming back. I would love for you to come back if you have time on your schedule. I would love for you to come back and join my show and share some more information because I'm quite sure you're going to have a whole bunch of other stuff going on um, as the year go on. And we would love to hear about it and love to share some more information about it. But guys, again, Thank you for coming on and joining for Good Morning Black People with Morgan Reese. Whether you at, I hope you have a good evening, good afternoon, good morning. I am so grateful and thankful for um, uh, Sandra taking the time out. She is the founder of Black 
connection. Check her out on all the platforms and she'll take care of you. Again, it's all about black love, black connections. Thank you again, Sandra. You have a good rest of your evening. And we'll talk soon, girlfriend. Sweet Thank dreams, you. all about you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you so much for having me. This was truly an honor. Yeah. So thank you so much. And keep up the awesome work that you are doing because this is awesome. You know, this good morning, black people. I love it. I love it. I love it. So keep up the awesome work that you are doing. And thank you so much for the invite. I really appreciate it. Thank you very thank much. You very much. Well, guys, you have a good rest of your evening. We're signing off. Good morning, Black people. with Morgan Reese. Have a good weekend, guys. It's on a popping in 2023. Let's do this. It's Good Morning, Black People with your host, Morgan Reese. Author, author, author podcast, 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 online personality. Podcast. Good Morning, Black People discussing social views, today's news, and interviews. Subscribe today at YouTube at Good Morning, Black People. I'm Morgan Reese, inviting you to tune in weekly for some empowering, enlightening, and embracing conversations to kickstart your day on Good Morning Black People.